Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the third episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the, a some replicated aiming and also some a some new animation blend spaces for aiming and unaiming. And we're also going to set up a temporary uh, rifles me mesh on the character until we in the next episode we're actually going to begin setting up the blueprints for the uh, weapons that are connected to the player. So there will be a primary, a secondary, and a melee weapon. So without further ado, we will get into this video. First thing we're going to want to do is go to our blueprints folder, characters, open up our character. We're just going to select our character mesh and add a skeletal mesh since our guns are skeletal meshes. And this, we're just going to name this for now, Gun Mesh, or Weapon Mesh. And we will attach this to the Hand Elf, or the Hand R for now. You also select this, you can move the socket any way you want. We're gonna add a uh, it's gonna have this slow rifle B, I guess, so I can get a test reference in here 90. Just gonna move this or rotate this in prop, put this prop length in hand. You can actually select your mesh for your character and pause animations if you find it's moving too much. And you want to select off this, and I'm just going to turn back on my object space. Slip this gun into his hand as much as I can for now. Eventually we'll be setting up a uh, left hand IK, so we can uh, attach our left hand here. And we'll move 100% with the weapon. But this will do for now. So now we have our weapon attached to our guy's hand. We're running around. We are going to want to open up our input craft. We want to move this toggle left camera down. We did in the last video because I want to be aiming on top. And first thing we're going to do is go to our project settings and create an input for aiming. So we will create an input. Name that aim. That'll be our right mouse. Right click, type in aim our input. And we're going to need a few variables. One being aiming. Something I didn't do over here, I usually like to do is put the B because it lets you know that it's a boolean and it actually doesn't display the B when you post it in here, you know. Just makes things a little more organized and I'm just going to change this category to Aiming. And I'm going to create a branch. So if we are aiming, we are actually going to need to replicate something, our aiming variable rather than just set it. So we're going to create a new graph called replication graph. And in here, we're going to create a, two new custom events. One called server aim. One called client, or not client, multicast. You want to send this to everybody, basically. And, uh... We're not sending it to everybody. Let everybody know that this variable is true so that the animation can play on the 
character that it's set on. And we're going to set aiming on multicast. I'm going to plug this into here. Multicast aim. Plug this into server aim. And we're also going to actually, no, we're not going to do this. We're going to set aiming here on the server. And remove this. And whatever the server is aiming is set to, will it'll be set on, be sent to everybody else so that the animation will display on the character. That is aim. We're also going to want to disable our aiming, so we need two more custom events. aiming make a little mistake on this one server stop aiming and we're also going to need to run this on the server and reliable multi-class Multicast and reliable, and the same thing with these. Server, multicast, and reliable. So basically, we're going to copy these two variables here, paste them here, and we're going to disable aiming on the server. And then we're going to send that to the client. Multicast stop aiming. So that the clients will know the player has stopped aiming. Comment that replicated aiming. That's the variables on the server. Then sends the variables from the server to the other clients. There we go. I want to go to our input graph. And if we are not aiming, server aim and when we release duplicate this we will stop aiming if we are aiming Player is aiming already. So that's the aiming variable, which will be used in the animation blueprint, for example, to, do, to switch the animations. So now we will open up our animation blueprint. And in here, we will want to go to our locomotion, or first we might go to our vent graph. Ugh. Definitely going to clean this up a little bit. How would they do this? <laughs> Uh, 
4. Speed. Remnant doesn't even have jumping, so we can actually remove all this jumping crap. Um, we're going to be implementing a dodging system later on in the tutorial, not too later on, probably within the next few videos. I ended up finding some free animation, so it'll be a completely free dodging system. Um, so now we have this set up, the speed, it's commented. Direction is commented. And now we have our crouch. So now we need to get our aiming. So I'm gonna get our aiming from our character. Set that. I'm not liking this, I'm just going to search. Or not make it be in play. Initialize, I think. Yeah, initialize animation. And I'm actually going to copy this. Paste it up here. Copy this pawn owner. We're going to promote this to a variable. Character reference. Initialize animation when it's ran, and it'll only do this once rather than consistently setting the character reference. Now we can delete this, get our character reference, and just simply plug these in here. And the only thing we're going to want to do different here is check if it's valid because when the game starts, it's going to run through here a few times before it actually spawns in the character. So you're gonna wait for it to be valid and then we'll set the then it will start running through here every frame. There we go, I'm just gonna make that a little more understanding. I'm gonna delete this garbage. Um, with the motion, delete this and that. I delete this. I think there's another reference to jump. Yeah, just delete that function, enable jump, gone. Don't need jumping in this game. Okay, um, There we go. Now we're setting the variables. We have aiming being set. We can go to our anim graph. Open this up. Go to idle. Our idle is going to blend by bool. Now boolean is going to be the check if we're aiming. If we're not aiming, it's just going to play the idle rifle hip. We're going to redo this event soon. I'm, I've been working on getting some ALS animations set up. 
a little bit longer process with, and also getting it organized enough so that I can record it as well. That'll probably be in the next couple of episodes. And idle rifle iron sights. These will work for now. So basically right now, we are not able to aim. It's coming from the character reference setting. I'm not aiming. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna set it to true on the server here. If you haven't done that in the player. Now we should be able to aim and that should all be also replicated to every client. Oop. This in server. Client two. Move them into all their frames and there we go. We have aiming. But we don't have much else other than aiming, so um, six, six, so I'll set up the, uh, I'm going to set up the max walk speed. So it'll set the max, max walk speed when you're aiming. I'm just going to set my character movement to 300 for max walk speed and 50 for crouch because I want 300 to be my default value for now. So basically, let's double check. See that, yeah, that will be my default value when I'm not sprinting. I'm going to go to our replication graph. Custom event. Actually, I know this gets too confusing because you know, I don't think it'll be a good idea for me to continue this. I'll be doing, I'll do that in the very next video, which I'll actually be recording right after this one. I just want to keep it a little more organized. If I put too much in one video, I'll end up like, for example, somebody will be trying to look for setting their sprinting speed, and it'll be lost in a video for setting your aiming. So, in my opinion, we need to split that up. So if you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial videos, uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my Discord channel. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you all in the next episode.